Welcome back guys to another video and in today's video we will be talking about some interesting cool facts. As you already know where the market is right now we are in a huge shortage of inventory and the demand is sky high. But there are some companies out there that are claiming they might have a solution to the slow construction process and that solution is 3D printing for homes. Yes guys these companies are 3D printing these homes into existence. How does it work? Uh, there are a handful of companies that are doing this in the US. Uh, I'm gonna be going over that in a second. But these homes are made in a warehouse by a robot. Um, and they, they 3D print these panels uh, that are taken by the robot and these panels are put up against a, st a steel framing house. Um, and then the robot also does the insulation and some of the cool woodwork inside the house. It's very neat. Uh, once you uh, get to see what the finished product looks like. Now, it's not fully automated yet. Uh, the, there's manpower, man, there's manpower still needed. So the, the, the physical labor, uh, they do the HVAC, the appliances, and some other things that need to be done inside and outside the house, outside of the house the robot doesn't do. Uh, other thing is yeah, the foundation is also laid in uh, by by physical labor. So these homes are produced inside of a factory by a 3D by 3D printing technology and then the home is driven in and uh, brought in with a crane um, as you see in the picture here brought in with a crane uh, into your backyard. Uh, there are a couple of companies that are doing doing this uh, technology experience uh, and giving this service particularly a company in Oakland called Mighty Buildings um, they, they're about a three to four year old company and they've done almost 15 of these uh, ADU units uh, and which is not a full house yet, ADU units is an additional uh, accessory dwelling unit that you could put in, in, the, in, in your existing home in your backyard. So they bring in these uh, ADUs over a crane and they claim that they can print these homes within 24 hours. So the whole process is it's about four to five days, they print your house bring it, lay the foundation, put the house on it, and you have a house. Now, the ones that they've done, they're, they're not super large, but they're very, very nice looking. Um, the, the, the square footage on these are anywhere from 400 to 1,000 square feet. Uh, and I believe the maximum is uh, two bedrooms uh, for these ADUs. There's a bathroom in there. And this company is also doing a full community down in Southern California with another builder. So that's gonna be some interesting stuff. Now, these companies claim that it's almost 90% less manpower needed than a traditional construction company would require. And they're saying that at, they're using almost one-tenth less of waste that, that traditional methods uh, usually uh, emit. So that's amazing to hear. And they're also using this synthetic uh, concrete which uh, it's supposed to be very durable and strong that hardens right away. These methods that they are using are very eco-friendly, environmental friendly and they can turn these houses around very fast. Now uh, what, are the, what are some price points if you're looking to get an ADU unit and you can literally call this company today and get yourself an ADU unit that you can put in your backyard if you already own an existing home and they'll uh, I'm not sure how long the wait period is but once you get accepted uh, and they take on your request. It takes um, about a week for you to like they, for them to produce it and then put it in your house. So it's a very quick process. ADUs are ranging, uh, I believe, around one hundred fifty to uh, one hundred fifty thousand to one hundred eighty thousand. And then they have a full fourteen hundred square foot house, which um, that's a little complicated. You're going to need a lot and some permitting there, but uh, it still may be options to definitely explore. And those start anywhere from two hundred and twenty-one thousand dollars. Now. Mighty Builders is not the only company that's doing it. There's two other companies here. Uh, one company in Texas right now called Icon is doing it out there. And then there's another one, SQ4, SQ4D um, in New York State. And SQ4D actually uh, built a full house. Uh, the first uh, 3D printed manufactured house that was listed on the MLS and it actually sold for above asking price and it wasn't even manufactured yet. They actually bought it and then it took them about a week to manufacture it. 
it's all amazing uh, to hear this, but this stuff is really happening. Now, for this technology to really become mainstream, I think that's a far-fetched shot, but uh, I honestly believe that there will be construction companies that are using traditional methods right now that are gonna employ these new technologies and kind of do like a hybrid model where they have the robots uh, build some sections of the house and, and a physical man labor doing other parts of the house that will definitely lower the cost. Maybe they're gonna use new, this, they're, gonna, they're gonna start adapting to this new synthetic concrete technology that these companies are claiming to be very durable. That'll cut down the cost. Um, and also it's gonna take a lot of experimenting and us buyers out here just accepting this new technology for it to really become mainstream. Until then, it's definitely a niche, niche business. And I really hope to see more from it because it's all really exciting stuff. That's it for today, guys. If you like today's video, please share with me what you thought of it. And if you're thinking about buying one of these things, ADUs for your backyard, or actually buying a full-on 3D printed house, please let me know by commenting below or sending me an email or a message. Once again, this is Karan Singh with Optimal Homes. Until next time.